I think that we have come to a time in our society where there really are no rules. There are no rules. I remember the first time I saw somebody uh, who normally had her roots done blonde, uh, and I saw those dark roots and I thought, oh, that looks terrible. Now we love it. We buy wigs that are, that are rooted wigs, don't we? But the very first thing that you see is that she's rooted. She's got some very dark black in there. It could be dark, dark brown. I'm not exactly sure of the color combination. And then, of course, she's got the beautiful white, some silver, some gray. We don't get to know what the formula is, unfortunately. That would make life a lot easier, wouldn't it, for all of us? Okay, so let me get this tag off. Okay, so here's the inside of the cap for Beltress's long topper with the bangs. The first, the very first thing that we see, of course, is the beautiful parting space that we have here. In case you don't want to part her down the middle, um, you can part her a little bit left of center, a little bit right of center. We have one, two, three, four combs, four combs, and then we have, of course, some wefting in the back, uh, which is about an inch to an inch and a half wide. And we do have that gorgeous, lest I forget to mention it, lace front. Lace front with no clip in the front where the lace is, right here, right there, no clip there. So you may, she may go on perfectly. You may not need anything more to secure her, um, but we'll see what happens. Okay, the other thing I want to quickly mention, I just touched on it earlier, was she does have this beautiful rooting here that you may may remember uh, a while back I did a review on this very same topper for Wig Studio One. They had sent it to me in the color Roca Margarita Blonde. Let me let me grab that right now and I will show you the difference in those two colors. Okay, so take her right out of her box. Here is Beltress's long topper. This one is 16 inches. And here is her crown. It is not rooted. Whatever your monitor is picking up, I promise you it's not rooted. But those darker low lights, um, or highlights, whatever you want to call them, the camera is picking them up and making them look kind of like it's rooted, but it's not. And I don't think I gave you as good of a close-up as I could have um, when I did this review. Okay, now let me show you compared to one that is indeed rooted, and that's the one that I'm going to put on my head for you in a moment. So there they are. So you can definitely see when you've got rooting, you know you've got rooting. It's 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 very much there, front and center. And I will link the review that I did uh, for the Roca Margarita Blonde in, in the description box of this video so you don't have to go and hunt for it. I'm just going to hit her with a teeny tiny bit of Simply Styling. Even though she's right out of the box, I can feel she's just a tad dry, so just put a little bit of that in. I'll put a link below to Simply Styling if you don't know what, what it is so that you can read about it. It basically conditions the wig, conditions the hair, keeps it nice, helps with tangling. I'm showing it to you right straight out of the box for realism. I did pull it back a tad from my hairline. A tad from my hairline. So you're seeing it right there. Now, one of the things that I want to advise you on if you have a, a very long piece like this is before, and yes, I see how, how short my hair is back there. We're going to talk about that. Um, but before you even put her on your head, as soon as you get her out of the box, lay, her down a t lay the piece on a tabletop, a flat tabletop, no cloth on it. Of course, just make sure the table is scrupulously clean. Take your, your comb and on the table, now I had already done this, but on the table, 
make sure you calm until you feel no knots at all. And then when you, because you will feel knots in a long, in a long piece, anybody who, who works with wigs is going to tell you, yeah, you're going to have knots. Okay. So once you get her on your head, even, obviously it's not, I'm not done yet, but I just, once I get her on my head, I want to make sure all, any possibility of a knot is gone. So now I can tell I like her much better parted on the side. So I would just take overnight, I would take a clip. I have clips that don't dent hair. I'll put a link to those below. But it's a clip that you can put right onto hair and it won't leave that dent in the hair. You cannot see the end of the wig. So if hair, if the wind is blowing, I'm going to be okay with that. Obviously my hair is way too short for this piece. In terms of color, you remember that I had done the Roca Margarita Blonde. So here's the Roca Margarita next to the chrome. So the Roca Margarita, you can see, has more gold in it, right? Absolutely has more gold. Both beautiful pieces. The Roca Margarita Blonde, however, and I did mean to hold it up, is shorter. The Roca Margarita Blonde is 16 inches. This one is 19 inches. So a lot of hair. But when you see what you can do with toppers, you don't just plop it on your head and wear a topper and go out the door, although you could do that. You're going to do some styling, and I'm going to try to do that right now. So, again, I know the bangs are too long, but once I train them there, or trim them, and I may trim them, um, they're going to be ex it's going to be exactly the piece that I want. Let me tell you about the fibers, the hair fibers. It's very silky, um, very light. This topper is four ounces in weight. 19 inches from the crown all the way to the end. The bangs are four inches and the sides are 15 inches. So the back is 15 to 19 inches. Um, she doesn't really have a lot of layering. I, I don't really see layering. Okay, so of course now if my hair was totally this long, I could just comb it in and walk out the door and be done with it because her cap, it's about seven by seven. So it's it's not covering a huge portion, portion of your head. It's basically covering this area right here. So we really don't have to worry too much when the wind blows. Right now, how would I wear it? Right now, I wouldn't be able to wear it like this because, and I mentioned I would do a spin for you, and I'll do that right now. But right now, I wouldn't be able to wear her because just down, you know, plop her on the head and go out the door. Because my, my bio hair is just too short, and that would look weird. Okay, now I'm going to do the spin for you in a moment, but even just having that clip, this little clip that I had earlier, she's already staying a little bit better to the right. So I'm pretty confident that if I just put a clip in her, uh, I'll, as I said, I'll insert the kind that doesn't make a dent in the hair. If I just put a clip in her overnight, I think that she would stay. If not, I could just always hit her with some... Um, light holding spray. Maybe Jean Renault light holding spray or something like that. Okay, so let me do a spin for you. Naturally you're going to see my white hair.
Let's talk about color for a minute. I truly like the chrome better than the Roca Margarita Blonde. Even though she's got this rooting in here, it's okay. I just feel that the color goes better with my white hair underneath. Now again, this is not about me. I'm reviewing these for you. But if you're out there and you're like me and you've got this white, white hair with, if you looked very, very closely at my hair, you'd see that there, there are some black strands throughout, but not a lot of them. It's not by any means chunky. Um, so I just feel, if you're like me, silver white, that the chrome is going to be a better color for you. Um, this may be off-putting for you uh, because of the fact that it has a dark root. root. I don't know who you are. You, knew, you know who you are. But um, I think that we have come to a time in our society where there really are no rules. There are no rules. I remember the first time I saw somebody uh, who normally had her roots done blonde. Uh, and I saw those dark roots and I thought, oh, that looks terrible. Now we love it. We buy wigs that are that are rooted wigs, don't we? So, all right. But be, so that's the only thing I want to say about the color. I think is exquisite, beautifully done. And uh, so how would I wear it? I would pull it over to the side like this because my own hair is long enough now that I can pull it over. And... Again, I would make sure that those bangs are taken care of. Get yourself one of these teeny tiny rubber bands. You can get a whole box of them for next to nothing from Amazon. I'll put it down below for you. And then just grab your, grab your hair. Practice this before your event so you're not trying to do this when you're in a hurry. And my favorite square hair bands, this beautiful paisley ones. They have all kinds of designs over at square hair bands. Link below. Well, hopefully you can see the beauty of a topper, whether it's a short, medium, long, with bangs, without bangs. As the spring and summer months approach, it's a wonderful alternative when you don't feel like having a full head of hair. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget to look for the silver linings.